Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you're basically in any other tourist location, New York City, Seattle, Paris, whatever. You know, places where there's a lot of tourists, places where there's a lot of tourists, it's expensive and they know you're a tourist, you get charged more for stuff, right? So, uh, let me go into, let me go into the people because I want to, I want to start off by saying more nice things because I already got off on the wrong foot saying it's expensive. It sounds like I'm talking shit. I'm not talking shit. I loved it. Um, the people were amazing, bro. Like, amazing i had no no negative encounters at all all positivity from the time we pulled up i mean our very first uber driver he asked us was our first time there we said yeah it's like two in the morning bro when we pull up and he just like yo you gotta go here you gotta go here how to take a picture of this business card uh you know and go here and you could snorkel you could jet ski you can do this that and the other like bro we didn't even ask him he was just straight up just nice and wanted to tell us all the stuff in the world. And pretty much every every encounter that we had was like that. Someone would say, is this your first time here? Yeah. Oh, you got to go here. You got to do this. You got to do this. Oh, did you do this already? Well, then you're probably like this, that, and the other. Um, so the people were super, super nice. Even, even when we left San Juan and went to other places where they didn't speak English, those people were just as nice or nicer. I don't even know. It was more nice. Um, and I'm going to get into that in a second. But, yeah, just everywhere. You know, like, I thought I was going to record more conversations that I have because I actually wanted to give some of you guys that are trying to learn Spanish, I wanted to give you all some conversations um, that you could use as, like, listening comprehension practice. But I was just, the people were so nice and and I was just having, like, actual good conversations, bro. Like, I'll get done with the convo. We'll have, like, a 20-minute convo. And I'll be like, ah, oh, damn, I should have recorded that. But We're in heaven now. Normally, right here, you're going to get some But those days, on the 70s. Sí, tenía que poner un presentado. And then, one day, the guy, he was the, the manager of the game room. I wasn't even thinking about that. It was actually really hard to make content, and I got a lot of respect for travel bloggers and stuff. Like, I don't know if y'all just keep your camera running 24 hours a day or what, but, like, I couldn't even think about using my camera, bro. And so, anyways, I'm going to go into that. If you speak Spanish, leave San Juan. 100% get out of San Juan. It was cool to be there. Uh, we crashed there. Our, our Airbnb was there. Um, Viejo San Juan, Old San Juan, it was cool, you know, it was, um, the classic pictures, colorful street. Executed, cause we don't know what y'all talking about, kind mm -hmm. of deal. Mm -hmm. So it was like that kind of outlash going on. Um, you know, kind of like how, you know, 2000s and stuff, oh, you know, we gotta spread democracy and, yeah. you know, for those kids. Hi, uh, houses and stuff like that, it was very cool. But, like, it was just full of Americans. And everyone spoke English, which is cool. That's cool. But, like I said, we didn't really go there to be around the same people that we left. You know what I mean? We wanted to really experience the island and, and I don't know, see some different culture than our own. You know what I'm saying? And so, we left San Juan a couple times. Uh, we went to El Junque, the the rainforest, and then we went to I don't I don't I think it's somewhere different, Fajardo, you know, and we did some uh some kayak and then we saw uh bioluminescence, but that was at like ten at night, it was pitch black, so like I recorded some stuff, but then I was like, This is kinda dumb, you can't see anything and like it wasn't a hundred percent bioluminescence because it had been raining the whole day. And they need the sun to actually <laughs> make the chemical reaction or whatever. So they were at like 30%. You splash your hand in the water and you can see your hand glowing. But you, like uh, at one point we got like the, the tarp off of the kayaks and put it over our head and splash the water. And you could really see it then. But like I said, it just wasn't worth recording. It was amazing to see with my own eyes. Like a beautiful experience. I can't even explain to you in words how, how cool it was to see that. But no point in recording it but yeah you could do stuff like that without speaking spanish if you book it 
through a tour. So, like, I don't know how that shit works. <laughs> but just book a, book a tour and, and an English-speaking guide will take you to one of those places. So, you would ride with them. You wouldn't have to worry about the logistics of ordering from a menu and stuff like that. They will be helping you with that because there will be a tour guide, right? It will just spit everywhere. Um, but like I said, if you speak Spanish, you could do that stuff on your own. You could drive there on your own, book the stuff in person, whatever, whatever. Besides the rainforest in Fajardo, we went down to Yalco. I already made a video about that, but I'll talk about it some more just in case there's stuff that I didn't put in there. So... Um, like I said before, uh, Hurricane Maria ravaged that part of the island, um, and they came together as a community to to paint the houses and, and rebuild it. And so they wanted tourism down there. We went down there. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Hot as fuck, but beautiful. Um, and everybody there was nice. Like I said, um, the guy who started the project, as soon as we got out of the car, I don't know how he knew. It was like he was just posted up on the corner waiting for us. <laughs> he explained everything to us. He told us all the sites. He's like, use this QR code. It's a huge QR code on the building that gives you an interactive map. Yeah, nobody. You walk around and do stuff. Um, super cool. Uh, on the same topic of Spanish speaking, also everything was in Spanish. Even even in San Juan, like the street signs and stuff like that are in Spanish. So you know it says party instead of stop and like stuff like that, or the highway signs are in Spanish and shit. The the news, the advertisements, all of that stuff in Spanish. Um, the billboards on the highway in Spanish. So that's really cool. I think I picked up a lot of extra words just from the basic signs in Spanish and stuff. Just little stuff that I probably wouldn't think about on a daily basis, which is actually really important when you're having a conversation. Like, I feel like it's easier to know big words than it is small words. Because um, the big words sound similar, right? So, like, conversation and conversación, like, you can make that out. Maybe if you didn't even speak Spanish. But it's the small words that can really mess you up. So, that was cool, you know. The Uber drivers, they would have their GPS in Spanish, so it was real cool to hear the GPS, like, telling them to make their turns in Spanish and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, down in Yalco and in the surrounding areas, they not really speaking English out there, bro. We had a couple of vendors that had lived in the United States before, so they had some basic English. Oh, Seattle? Yeah. Seattle. Myself from New York. Oh, see, Nueva York. Vente, Michael, y esta. Donde in New York? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Wow. But overall, no. Like when we were ordering food, when we were doing anything, we were speaking Spanish and they would know by our accents that. We were not Puerto Ricans, so they would ask us where we were from. And, you know, Seattle. What's Seattle? Oh, uh, um, Washington? They'll be like, um, Texas? Okay, Texas. So we just started saying Texas, to be honest. Like, I mean, I really am from Texas. She's not. But, uh, but yeah. So, like I said, if you speak any Spanish... Or enough Spanish to get around, leave. Get a rental car. Go to Rincón, uh, Yauco. There's a couple other places. I'll put them in the bio if I can remember. But yeah, just get out of San Juan. Do something else. Have fun. See nature. Um, and just to recap, like I said, you need the thing to get in to get your QR code. Don't forget to do that before you get there. Or else you're going to be sitting up in the airport trying to upload documentation san juan is uh old san juan are cool but if you speak spanish or if you're just brave get a rental car leave um and yeah make sure you bring enough money or else you're gonna be broke as fuck out there thinking that you was gonna go to some super cheap part of latin america it's not that bro like you're <laughs> you're in a spot where stuff costs money 
the stuff was cheaper outside of San Juan, but even still, uh, you're not going to go out there with a couple hundred dollars and just be balling, let me tell you that, all right? So, I really, I think I covered everything. I don't know. I feel like I covered everything. I've been talking a lot. This has to be like a 10-minute video. Any questions you got, put it in the comments. I'll reply to it there. I feel like I talked enough. Thanks for watching. We almost had 100, 100 videos, baby. My goal is almost complete. Thank you for watching. See you next time.